you tell me when you want me to. Hello, welcome to LCDC TV. We're here today in America Square, Bullet 21, the drive-by protest at Uber HQ at Allgate. I'm here with Gary White, who's been working with Bullet for many, many months. Yeah, good morning, Grant. Why are we here today, Gal? Uh, good morning, Grant. I've been working with um, Bullet 21 and RGL since late October last year. They first uh, approached me and told me about how they uh, wish to uh, get compensation for drivers that um, lost justice. out. Justice. Justice. Justice is what we want. Drivers lost out through Uber operating illegally. They was allowing the driver to accept the job and then they was backfilling. And as we know, the private hire operator needs to accept the job first, then give it to the driver. Yeah. That's what they failed to do. They failed to do it for a period between June 2012 up until May 2018. So just under that short six year period. And for that, the drivers deserve compensation. Well, that's right, because as everyone knows, all you cab drivers watching this, the fact that Uber was allowed by TfL and the mayor to carry on illegally from the beginning, that allowed Uber to get a real hold on the public by cheap fares, hundreds, you know, thousands and thousands of drivers sleeping at the end of your road. You know, if you said to the public, I want a, a dirt cheap cab within seconds, they'd have it, wouldn't they? Exactly, Grant. That's what they've done. Uber used this business model for them to be able to get a foothold in our industry. Because as we know previously, your local minicab office where people would go to the office or phone them up, there was a delay in the process of them getting their minicab turning up for their job. Whereas this process of what they do now e-hailing via an app allowing the driver to accept the job and then backfilling is what we're all about exactly and, and that's the whole point of it like what gary's just saying there it's not about now or the future this is about what has happened in the past to the massive detriment of not only the, the black cab trade but the two-tier system in london as we all knew it yeah uber don't like the two-tier system they would like to get rid of the two-tier system we all value our jobs this is no way of the drivers who are involved in Bullet 21 disrespecting their badges. They're purely going after lost earnings for the defined period of the Bullet 21 claim. And if you follow Twitter a bit, Gary, there's, there's uh, murmurings from uh, other trade groups saying that if drivers sign up to Bullet, it's going to jeopardise any other legal action. That's nonsense, isn't it? It is nonsense. At the moment... There is only one claim out there against Uber in London, and that is Bullet 21. But if another claim comes around for a different period of time on a different issue, this will not stop that claim happening. This is purely for the defined period of Uber when they was allowing the driver to accept the booking. So we've got over, or Bullet 21 has got over half the cab trade signed up already, which is fantastic. But what you're saying, every cab driver, even if you're not working now, because of the pandemic, I don't know if you're delivering to Tesco's, what I'm saying is if you was a cab driver in that time, you got to sign up. There's no reason for any cab driver that was a licensed taxi driver, green or yellow badge, that was operating in London between June 2012 and May 2018, not signing up. So really, if you're a cabbie and you're watching this at home and you're not working, but you was a cabbie, it's imperative that you sign up to Bullet. And how can they sign up, Gal? Well, they can sign up in two ways. They can go online at www.bullet21.com or they can see the drivers that are out leafleting uh, on the ranks and around the various hotels. And as London gradually opens back up, the guys will be out there leafleting more and 
if there are any doubts, they can always follow me on Twitter and then there's links from my Twitter profile that will take them to the Bullet 21 website to sign on. And two big things there, Gal. One, if you're a driver and you sign up, it doesn't cost you anything, does it? It's cost you nothing to sign up and even by signing up you're not committing yourself to anything until you go further on and that's when you sign an LMA but at this particular stage you're signing up to find out what the bullet 21 is all about before you could commit yourself at a later stage and well, it costs the driver nothing the only time the driver will ever pay anything and it will be from his winnings that he gets from bullet 21 there will be a percentage so at no time would a driver ever have to take any money out of his own bank account towards this campaign. So for a driver, as you, if you look at the posters, you could get up to £25,000. It don't cost you a penny. So really, what are you waiting for? Sign up for Bullet and let's get going. I so, agree, Grant. We, we just, you know, we've got a good number of drivers at the moment signed up. We've over 10,000 drivers. As Grant previously said, there's... 21,000 cab drivers in London. If we add in the guys that would have retired during that period as well, we could take this up to 25, 28,000 cab drivers. And the more cab drivers that sign up, the stronger the claim becomes. Yeah. So, listen, if you really want to hurt Uber, stop sitting on your ass and doing nothing. Sign up and have a go, yeah? Because, as they say, you've got to be in it to win it, ain't you? Exactly, Grant. This won't stop Uber operating London. In, in central London and in the suburbs. But this will be a big financial hit to Uber. And their shareholders, people that invest in Uber, people look at Uber as a company that um, is part of the gig economy. We know what they are, they're disruptive. They come into a regulated market and they like to disrupt a regulated market to the extent where the guys that, and girls that operate in a regulated market can no longer afford to operate. That's so right. you're only gonna take money off of Uber. You're not taking money off of a fellow cab driver or if he be new to the trade or a knowledge boy that's coming into the trade because this is purely for the defined period what's happened in the past. Right, we're going to head off to Uber HQ. We're going past Uber HQ just to let them know that we're coming after them. So if you're watching this and you're in the city or on the rank, I'll see you at Allgate. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Grant. Thank you. Pleasure. Off we go. Off we go, yeah. Well done,